Hey guys, good evening. Welcome to the stream. Nezadam here broadcasting live on Twitch TV. Tonight we're playing Carpal Space Program. Uh, I think we are. Hold on one second. So it's been a while since I played. I completely forgot how to do everything. That's why uh, it's I'm trying to relearn how to play Kerbal. So let's see if this works. Uh, let me look at my settings. Okay, okay, let's try it. I don't know how long this stream will last. Uh, the time is 1.40 a.m. Last time I played Kerbal was uh, a couple months ago, but hopefully, uh, hopefully it works. Okay, let's start a game. Do a new game. Let's call it Nez. And I have my flag right here. And let's go for moderate for a little challenge. Oh, yeah. All right. So when you first load up the game, you have 15,000 Kerbal credits, zero science, and an introduction from Gene Kerman. Yep. And right here is your missions. So the only things that we could do right now in the beginning is launch your first vessel. And gather scientific data. All right. So here is your VAB or uh, launch uh, assembly building, vehicle assembly building. So first of all, let's name this craft Stubby or Stub One. Stubby. Stubby. How do you spell Stubby? I don't know. Stub One. That works. <laughs> okay. So there's your command module that you need for every aircraft. The parachute to survive the fall in a tiny engine. Something to do science with two mystery goo containers. You press C to lock it in place and then X to do uh, mirror mode. I kind of like to set these inside so if you press 2 it allows you to offset the target and then uh, C to remove the clipping and then uh, I like to put it here. You, you don't have to but I use it. All right so our first victim, let's put a Kerbal in here. So let's do, uh, I'll put an engineer. Actually, yeah, let's put an engineer. Save and set everything. Yeah, launch. All systems go, we're gonna go for launch for Stubby One with our pilot, Bill Kerman. We're first gonna EVA. So let's do crew report and mystery goo container and EVA to collect the signs. Collect data and collect that and do an EVA report. EVA stands for uh, extra vehicle or activity. You press B to go back in. We're gonna go for launch T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, main booster ignition and we got lift off. All right, we're climbing in a height of 2,000, 4,000 meters and climbing. So we could do some science here. History goo, crew group. All right. So over right here are your accomplishments every time you complete a mission or a milestone. It's listed here. Different speed records, height records, and other things. So you could trash that. So we completed launch our first vessel. The other mission we signed up for is to gather scientific data. Okay, so we're good. Heading down. So this parachute will deploy at a thousand meters and I'll probably deploy it at 1300 because it's funny. Okay, there we go. We might be going too fast here. No, nope, we actually made it. Cool. <laughs> okay, looks like we're going to be on the shore. So let's do the same trick again. Okay. And we landed sort of face up. There we go. Hey, bonjour. What's up, Lean Shiro? All right, so we can EVA and take our stuff, collect our data, take the data, and EVA report, and we'll go back in and get a crew report again. I'm good, it's late, but thanks for joining me tonight. EVA report. So we're playing some Kerbal. You know, I, I played 500 hours of this game, but I forgot most of it, so that's why I'm doing it over. Do you play Kerbal, by the way? Okay, so I think we're good. When you think you're finished, you just do uh, recover a vessel and collect your rewards. So that is our first mission. Pretty easy. It gets complicated after that, My but... sensors are also highly pleased. What? Thanks for the follow, man. Thanks, Linchiro. Oh, the command. Hold on. You can also reward... Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm gonna correct this. It doesn't look right, so... You is now following. The, I'm a good streamer. Thanks. I just started. It's now following the channel or 
point named reward thanks for the support does that work okay that sounds like english i think <laughs> all right so you're gonna have some debris uh, wherever you land it's okay just leave it there um the next thing you want to do is upgrade your science right so in career mode oh that's not it hold on in career mode you have um, very limited parts so the only way to get more parts is to get more science so right now we earned 32 from our last mission so all we had to do is buy some more science right so more stuff here so i generally go this path uh, to get better rockets so we can go higher and into orbit and this this is for more science that's good all right so next ship actually before we do anything uh, i kind of want to label this as trash so that so you click on the name and make it deb debris so if you label it as trash it's not going to show anymore I, I don't think yeah there we go good so you can delete your trash but i rather keep it on here just to track how far i've gone in the game that's why i have it on. okay so we'll make a new ship let's call it lin shiro i like your name so let's call it the lin s102 i'll put the number for the flight number there you go that too and we will for this rocket i'm going to show you on your second mission how to go into orbit okay so you start with the command module parachute right you need something to decouple so that when you try to enter back into the atmosphere, you want to be as light as possible. That way, it doesn't burn you up and explode. And of course, we're going to collect science. So that's good. And we got these, these things. So, of course, I like to uh, make it stick inside. So I press 2, then C to set it in. And then you can do back to 1. Okay. And the next thing, fuel tanks. So... I forget what the formula is. I think it's six of these. Okay. So how how much weight or how much your rocket weighs determines how much your engines can push, right? This is called the um what do you call it? Weight to fuel ratio. I don't know. Weight to thrust. Your thrust. Oh, what is it called? Thrust to weight ratio. Sorry. <laughs> and uh, important number you had to look at is the max thrust at sea level right so it's 168.75 keep that in mind and then the mass here is 9.5 so if you multiply this by 10 is 95 right and you divide 168 by 95 you get roughly 1.8 so anything over one means that it's going to go um, it's gonna go up right that means you have enough force to lift it up so we're not done yet we need wings for stability let's see there you go this will keep the rocket straight um in the early stages of the game you don't have much control over the rocket but with wings it makes it easier right so you need to add another decoupler and let's go with this uh this is an srb it's called a solid rocket booster and it's the most powerful one at this point of the game. So my my goal with going into orbit is to exceed a certain speed, right? The only way to do that is with the right amount of weight, which is under 18 tons, um, and the right amount of power. So this one actually will push my rocket one... Okay, so it's 175 at sea level, right? Wait, hold on. No, it's 250 kilonewtons. My rocket weighs 173, 17.3. So if you divide that, those numbers, you'll get over one, right? So it's definitely gonna go up. Anyway, anyway, so don't need an antenna. What we do need though is, uh, do we have everything? A Kerbal. All right, we need a Kerbal. So instead of doing a pilot, we're going to do this with scientists, which means that we don't, we won't have SAS. So SAS is like the, um, it's like the autopilot. Well, it's a button on the ship that only like, uh, only qualified people can use, right? So if you're qualified to use it, it activates some sort of a uh, autopilot. So that means right now we don't have an autopilot which is fine so let's check our staging our staging is good so one of the things you could do if you are having trouble um, staging things quickly you can 
couple them together, right? So this, by doing, by putting a rocket with a decoupler, you make sure that those two fire at once. It's pretty basic stuff. I just wanted to go over that. Okay, let's do this. Hey, Rajas, what's up? How are you doing? All right, so this is the Lean Shiro 1 piloted by Bob Kerman on the launch pad. We are go for launch. Our goal is to go into orbit. This is our second flight. So we're going to throttle up and we are going for launch T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, main booster ignition and we have liftoff. All right. So M, when you press M, that's the map mode. It allows you to see the whole map with your ship. Well, I won't switch to that yet, but I'm going to start leading my rocket towards the 90 degree vector. So we have left the launch pad, right? <laughs> We're at 200 meters and rising, approaching Mach 1. Oh, geez. I'm kind of tilting. <laughs> All right, main booster separation. There we go. Successful separation. All right, so now I am throttling down 50%. Oop. And I'm leaning towards the 90 degree heading, right? Remember, we don't have autopilot, so I am manually controlling this. We're at 20,000 meters. Alright, so let's look at the map to see how high we are. So I'm going to boost up to 100% throttle. See that? All right. So the numbers I'm looking at is the, the bottom. I'm at 700 meters per second, 900 meters per second. So once I reach uh, 70,000, I'm going to go down to the horizon. So getting into orbit, you had to fall the same, almost the same speed as the Earth is turning, right? Oh, shoot. This is kind of fast. All right, so we have 75 meters left of fuel. And what's our height? We're at 60,000 meters, speed of 1800 meters per second. All right, we're good to initiate roll program. You know when they say that, it just means that they're turning, rolling, right? There you go. Roll program complete. Wait, not yet. Okay, now it's complete. All right, when you hear the song, it means that they're, you are in outer space. All right, so when we reach 80,000, I'm going to hit full throttle and we're going to circularize the uh, Kerbin, right? I think this is called Kerbin, right? Yeah, it's Kerbin. So yeah, um, you're probably asking why I didn't keep throttling up while I was here. The thing is, if you kept going up, you'd be wasting fuel um, trying to stay up. Because anything over 70,000 is already in uh, space. So I think we're going for throttle up. Let's do this slowly. Okay. Now we orbited. Yeah, successful orbit. So how do you know if you have a successful orbit? Is if periapsis, right? And your apoapse are both over 70,000. So what's the periapse, right? Periapse is your fastest point um, of your orbit. Apoapse is your highest and slowest point of your orbit. That means if I traveled all the way back here, I'd be faster and if I travel all the way up here, we'll, we'll look at it. But anyway, we completed an orbit. So what can we do right now? What I'll do... Okay, so this is the second mission, right? So let's upgrade some stuff. Let's go back to the Space Center. We can leave uh, Bob up there. Okay, so now we have money. First thing you would want to buy is the ability to exit your aircraft while you are um, outside. So it's called the EVA. Now we can do stuff in space. Okay, so let's go back here, select our craft. Now we can explore. Check this out. So we have a scientist, right? Okay, let's look at Bob. Hey, Samsky, how's up? Uh, what's up, man? How's up? <laughs> 
What's up? How's it doing? How's it going? Sorry, it's late. All right, Bob Kerman on his first test to EVA. Yeah. They're flying a craft without any SAS. We're seeing Bob will do his crew report. Now he's going outside. There we go. So we'll take the data, we'll EVA report. That's good. Store the data. So we'll do all this science. All right. So the interesting thing about uh, scientists is that you can restore and do all sorts of um, experiments when you're outside of the craft. With other other things like a pilot or an engineer, you had to go inside. So I pressed R to, uh, you know, I forgot what this is called, thrusters, to activate the thrusters. And now I can just fly around with the WASD keys. Press L for lights, all right? So forward, back, and then shift and control, adjust uh, altitude, altitude. So we got a bunch of signs, guys, collect data. Okay, so a cool trick I want to show you. Well, let's restore this before we go back. Because if when you're, uh, so we're, this is our second flight, right? We want to maximize how much science we get. So one of the tricks you could do is fly around the globe and just right click your your guy, right? And do EVA reports around the globe. So we got Kerbin Shores, right? We could keep going. Oh, shoot. I'll store the experiment and then EVA again. Uh, Kerbin Water. So you'll get a different one each time you pass something. Oh, I already have it. Let's do that again. It might take a while to go around uh, the area. So there's another trick. You could speed up time pressing the angle bracket keys. Oh, never mind. Forget it. <laughs> They probably changed it, but you used to be able to speed around and uh, do EVA reports everywhere. So let's wait until we get land. Grasslands. There we go. Grasslands. So th this is this is one of the things you could do when you're first starting out. I'll show you another trick when we get back down. Hold on. Let's see. Kerbin Shores. We already got that. Kerbin Water. So uh, one of the features I notice in 1.0.5 is the nav ball when you're EVA. This used to not uh, exist, right? When you're EVA, so you had no idea wh what your orientation was. So I, I'm glad that they uh, added that. Hey, Samsky, thanks for the follow, man. My sensors are also highly pleased. <laughs> Appreciate it. All right, so this might be a little boring right now. But, uh, you gotta do all you can do for science, right? What's up, Samsky? Samsky, do you have this game? Okay, so let's keep going. Shores, grasslands. I think we have all that we could get right now. Highlands. There we go. We get mountains. Mountains. Alright, the time is 2.20 a.m. So Bob Kerman is probably tired. So let's head back to Kerman. Oh, you got this game? That's good. So, what do you think? What do you think about the 1.0.5? All right, this is Bob Kerman, and we are preparing our descent back into wherever that we came from, the KSC. So the KSC is actually here, where Africa is. It's pretty fun. Yep. So I haven't quite figured out how to land exactly where you want to, but I do know that the safe uh, way to do it is to count uh, a pi of a 45 degree angle of where you want to, approximately where you want to land, and uh descend to 30,000. So I guess let's do that guys. Okay, so to get 30,000 over here, I'd have to descend from here, I think. Yeah. All right, let's speed up. So uh, how far are you in the game? Did you uh, did you go all the way to uh, Jewel? I think Jewel's the farthest, right? Oh, nice, I'm getting help. So Samsky says, hit the atmosphere above the desert to land close to the space center. Okay, all right, we'll try that. So I hope I can reach, oh, I think I'm too far now. One second. All right, we're going for throttle up, initiating reinsertion burn, three, two, one. Oh, whoops, I'm on the wrong side. <laughs> well, uh, we'll see. Oh, I won't kill you, you're fine. You're a okay, you're a okay. Actually, let's do some more science. So I don't recommend doing this while you're deorbiting, but this is pretty funny. I just wanted mountains. There we're good. Go back in. Oh, just uh, just a thing about my Patreon and all those messages you'll get. Uh, you don't have to subscribe. It's perfectly fine. Just you know, watching the channel. That's that's a good way to support. 
So it's okay. Don't worry about that. If you do support me, thank you. But it's all right. There's all kinds of forms of support, but uh, following was great. Watching is good. All right, so let's speed up time. Actually, you know, they added a feature here that if you are approaching the atmosphere, it's going to slow down time for you. So let's test that out. Yep, it works. I don't have to press anything. So we'll start burning up at 50,000 meters. So right now we're at 69,000. Let me, um, I'm going to jettison this when we are at, when we start flaring. Actually, can I crew report? I don't recommend doing this because right now, um, okay, I panicked a little bit. But if you're going back into the atmosphere and you uh, EVA, there's a slight chance you'll be uh, separated from your craft. <laughs> Actually, there's a good chance. So I, I just wanted to get a lot of science. So sometimes it's worth the risk, right? Okay, Samski, let's see. Let's see how we do here. Our descent is nominal, right? We're slowing down at a rate of 0.1 meters per second. Actually, we're speeding up. Never mind. So, uh, I don't know. I might have to do a burn just so that I land. All right, we're 60,000 meters and the descent still looks good. Bob is happy. Now, <laughs> if we blow up, coming after you, Samsky. I'm just kidding. We'll be fine. I have faith. All right, we're heading over the desert. We're in the atmosphere. I think, I think you're right, Samsky. I think we're going to do this. Okay, let's take a look at the map. Actually, I might overshoot. So I'm going to aim to overshoot. Let's see if we uh, can stop. So I still have 11 units of fuel. I could probably stop somewhere near. Okay, once I do reach the halfway point, I'm going to hit the uh, throttle. Hey, initiating reinsertion correction maneuver in five, four, three, two. One. Okay, we're good. And now, main booster separation. There we go. <laughs> we're on fire, guys. All right, let's see what kind of data we can get. Report. Nope. I'll wait until I land. All right, so at this point, since the... Oh, let's see. This might blow up. Hey, Scuba Steve, what's up? <laughs> oh, no, it's going ahead of me. Uh, that uh, little decoupler has like 20 newtons of force or something, so... It shot it ahead of me. We're good. All right, so we're approaching the KSC. The KSC is actually, you guys see it? It's right there. Or is it here? I don't know. No, it's right here. Let's see. Samsky, I think we're gonna overshoot. Okay. Actually, no, this line is getting shorter. Okay, what do you guys think? Am I gonna make it? There's a KSC right here. Alright, this is Bob Kerman. Mission Control, going in hot. Approaching KSC. Altitude at 33,000 meters descending. We're not slowing down fast enough. Yeah, it's pretty close. Ah, oh, we're gonna miss it. So, here, let's do a... This is a flyby. Yeah, we missed it. It's okay. This is only our second flight, guys, so... <laughs> it's fine. But good, good, uh, thanks for helping me out, uh, Samski. Okay, so, this is another, uh, this is the old Kerbal Space Center, I guess. So one of the things that I noticed about 1.0.5 is this notification that it's too hot to open your sheets. So once it's okay and cooled down, it'll actually turn green. I think, let's see. Because right now, if I open my chutes, they would be destroyed. But, let's see, let's see, let's see. It's still unsafe, come on. Vision control, we have overshot our landing. We're landing in the sea. All right, so now it's safe to deploy. I'm actually gonna do it at 1300. We're up about 70 kilometers from target. This might be cutting it close, guys. Hey, stand by to deploy chutes in five, four, three, 
two, one. Oh, we're too late. Oh no. Oh, we're good. Good job, guys. All right, second flight in orbit. Good job. So we'll call that a mission success. So you notice the uh, the thing turned green, right? The parachutes turned green when uh, it was safe to open them. So that's a new feature at 1.0.5. Another useful tool. I think there's another thing. Uh, oh, I don't have an antenna, but if you were to right click the antenna, there's different uh, data options that, uh, you know, ways of uh, transmitting data. Okay, touchdown guys. Now what we can do now is, oh, another thing 1.0.5 <laughs> is water physics. Usually I land with this thing on the, on the, uh, like this, but now it's like upright. That's weird. I guess it's possible to do underground bases if your ship is, uh, heavy enough. Okay. So let's do the mystery goo. Alright, it's EVA. Collect data, take data. CV again, collect data, okay, or take. And I believe I can do samples, can I? Right, we're good. So, recover vessel. So this is our second mission, right? Let's see how much we got. 118 science, guys. Okay. Oh, I forgot to do something. One second. So, whenever you abandon your craft, you want to mark it as de debris. That way, you don't have to look at it in the map. Okay, let's see what signs we can buy. So I recommend doing uh, things that allow you to go higher, right? So let's do an advanced rocker tree. And what is this? We don't have enough for this. This is for clamps and what is this? Crew cabin? So I guess we have new parts too. Stability. Oh, um, well, I'm keeping all just to have like a like a, a record of how many crafts I've flown. I'm gonna keep the junk out in the uncurbing. If it gets to the point where we have too many parts in the save file, I will uh, delete it. But uh, what I was trying to do is like have like a museum. You know, if we come across old parts, we'll see. Oh, this is how far we've gone. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so let's get this for the radial parachutes. And I kind of like these decouplers and oh, we don't have enough. You know, um, I used to, when I played this game a long time ago, I used to, whenever I had debris up in the air, I would go and, um, use the claw to recover everything and it took forever. But now I just, I'm just leaving junk out there just as a record that, uh, of where we've been. Okay, so let's see. What can we do now? So these flight above carbon ones, if you're starting out, I guess they're okay to do, but they can get kind of hard. So over here, it's asking you to be at an altitude of 33,000 feet before you could um, fire this weapon, right? Or not weapon, this rocket. And I don't know about you, but if you, I don't normally fire solid rocket boosters uh, at that height, so it'll take a bit of uh, ingenuity. So I don't usually do flight above carbon uh, missions. So what can we do? Hold on. I don't like any of these. Uh... <laughs> All right, these ask for you to uh, do different reports at different levels. I don't like these either because. Sometimes you have to build a craft that, uh, like an airplane kind of thing to get to where you have to go. And at 18,000 meters, that's kind of high. You know what? Let's just do, um, good ferry these people. Uh, ferry. Oh, these are nice. Okay. We could do these, the ferry ones. Okay, that's it. All right, we don't have enough cash to upgrade any of our things. But, uh, I do recommend that uh, the next two things you want to upgrade is obviously how heavy your ships uh, can be. So this would be next. But uh, if you're worried about uh, plotting things on a map, I recommend doing these, the mission control and the tracking station. So it'll allow you to do orbits and uh, things like that. Okay, what are we doing? Science data. Okay, next ship. Okay, let's call this the Samski. It's going to be the Samski 3. And this is the third rocket. Okay. Command pod. 
parachute. So what's our goal? Our goal is to collect signs up there, right? So I guess we'll build the same kind of rocket we did actually. Might be able to do that. This so the terrier is a pretty efficient rocket to do uh orbits. So let's look at the thrust uh let's do the thrust weight ratio here. So at sea level is 14.7 kilonewtons, right? How much does this weigh? 14.7 14.7 is not that much, but it's fine. Actually, since most of the uh most of the power will come from the second uh stage i think the number we'll go with is a 60. so you take the mass multiply it by 10 it's 37 divide by uh 60 divided by 37 is almost two right so that means it will keep going okay that's good anything above one it's it's good uh, for thrust to weight ratio i don't know if i'm explaining it correctly but the way I understand it is if you try to push an object off the ground, like you're lifting, let's see, you're lifting this thing, right? It's one pound and you, it takes one pound to keep it steady. If you use two pounds of force, you'll keep going up, right? So that's what you want to do. I don't know if that works. I, I mean, I don't know if that makes sense. Basically, that's what thrust to weight ratio means. Oh, whoops. So we press T. For the offset, C to remove the clip. And I kind of like to set it down here. There you go. And of course, we need a decoupler. And this fuel tanks. So I usually go with four right? in the LV45. So let's look at the uh, thrust to weight ratio here. So you always had to calculate this. This is the first stage. So the at sea level is your important number 168.75 right you take the mass 14.6 times 10 146 is that more than one yes it's about 1.40 something which is fine but we might need a little bit more power so what i'm gonna do is let's see, we'll put some solid rocket boosters all right so radial fins for stability shift x removes uh, when you press x it adds um, another part to your symmetry shift x removes a part okay. and all we have left for mass is these things which is fine <laughs> oh whoops sometimes this is wonky here there you go so when you're building rockets you have to keep in mind that um oops the more symmetrical things are the smoother it goes right so if you have a lopsided rocket uh it's going to fly lopsided. All right, so Scuba Steve is asking, what is the mission objective? Okay, what are we doing? I don't even know. Actually, <laughs> I do know. What we're doing, we're going to transmit data, right, from space. And we're going to take, uh, we're going to take a guy that wants to go in orbit with us. Okay, so we're going to take a tourist. Let's see, where's the tourist? Silene. Let's do silent. So you could actually do these one at a time and it will it'll, uh, complete the mission. Actually, hold on. Does it say to transmit? Oh, transmit or recover. Oh, you know what? These tourists can't uh, take signs. So I shouldn't use this. They can't even EVA. But you... Oh, man. Should we do... Uh... <laughs> hey, Zane Gamer. What's up, man? So we're, we have a problem here. Do you guys know if tourists, if you have a tourist in a pod, can you still do science? That's a question. I bet we can do one of the pods. Let's test it out. Hold on. My sensors are also highly pleased. Hey Zane, thanks for the follow, man. Okay, so let's see. A little bit confused here. All right, we'll test it out. So this is Samski. This vessel has no remote control or manned command mo okay so i guess we can't am i from china nah i am asian though <laughs> i'm a pacific islander so yeah i'm from the island but I i'm closer to asia than uh wherever <laughs> i'm not chinese no all right so let's i guess we can't do it what can we do guys we need a probe core which we don't have all right so we can't do that one mm. <laughs> no nah, not hawaii pacific island 
Uh, that it covers Hawaii and Philippines. So I'm Filipino, but I I wish I was in Hawaii. Right now I'm in California. But yeah, thanks for asking. Okay, so let's see. What do you think here? Also hey, thanks for the follow, guys. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. Oh, uh, you're in Hawaii? Oh man, I'm envious, dude. I always wanted to go to Hawaii. I mean, hopefully, hopefully I, one of these days I get to go. But uh, for now, I'm in California. It's close, right? It's close to Hawaii. Okay, so we can't do that, right? Dang. Okay, let's do this. Let's add, let's add another dude, right? Oh, this is gonna be, it's gonna be messed up. It's too heavy. Right. You know, we're gonna need more parts for this. All right. So we can't do the tourist, but we can collect science. So we'll do that. That's our objective. We're going to collect science. So we got, we flew everybody. It's all well, the original four, except for a pilot. So let's do uh, Valentina. Okay, let's see. Last minute check. Everything's good. All right, guys, this is a Samski 3 piloted by Valentina Kerman. We are go for launch. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, main booster ignition and lift off. All right, let's look at this right here. Stand by for main booster separation. There you go. Normally you're supposed to say stand by for main booster separation before you separate, but I was too slow. Anyway, <laughs> so we're good. We're approaching Mach 1. We're at 5,000 meters. And I am slowly tapping uh, right to go to the 90 degree heading. All systems are still nominal. Let's slow down a little bit. Approaching 90 degrees, 14,000 meters. We go for a throttle up. Let's see. So I hope everyone's having a good weekend. I watched Star Wars today, and that is the reason why I'm playing Kerbal right now. Anything like a space movie I see. Makes me want to play a space game. I don't know why. All right, we're going at 100%. Throttle up. There we go. Heading down to 90. So, what I'm trying to follow is this green thing right here. It's called the prograde. You're hitting the prograde, it means that you are um, going towards where your rocket is pushing, right? Where your engines are pushing. That's what prograde uh, means. All right, prepare for main booster separation. There we go. Killed it. There you go. Oh, not main booster. That was stage one separation. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so we're good to initiate the roll program. Roll program complete. There you go. So my goal right now is at 2100 meters per second, but I don't want to exceed 70,000. So let's see. Cool. All right, we're still good. Everything's nominal. So we got 73,000 here. I'm going to wait until we reach the 70,000 mark to throttle up. Let's check our other stage. What is that? That's what we separated, right? Okay, there's the eerie music indicating that we are in space. So what was our mission? Gather science, right? Well, actually, we could speed up. So bracket keys speed you up. Right? If you shift and then bracket key, oh, wait, hold on. Is it shift or is it control? What's a physical time warp? Shift? I can't remember. I think it's shift. Alt. Oh, it's alt. So it, alt and then triangle does uh, physical time warp. It's a little bit more precise with the physics, but uh, I don't recommend moving in that mode because everything is fast. Have you ever moved in uh, fast speed or have you ever tried to turn your car 
when you're at like 60 miles an hour. <laughs> it's like that. All right. All right, we're going to go for throttle up. Initiating circularization burn in three, two, one. And we have a circle. There we go. Easy, right? Actually, there's something else we can do. Okay. So let's go around. Just so that we have um, signs from two different things, right? There's a uh, low curb in orbit is at 70,000. High curb in orbit is at 300, I think. So we're going to increase our uh, APO apps here. You always overshoot. Yeah. Sometimes it happens like that. I tend to like, if I have to do a maneuver, I do everything at half speed because, you know, you have more time to respond if you're going slower. That's why old people, <laughs> I mean elderly people, when they drive, it's very slow. That's because they need to be slow. <laughs> Alright, so let's increase this to 300,000. Let's do 350. There you go. Okay, so let's collect science. Okay, crew report. Nothing, Mr. Igu. Tiny. Nothing. This is the worst. So oh, that's alright. Anything here? 4.9. That's terrible. Okay, so let us time warp. Let's go back. Probably at 344,000. Okay. We'll probably have better luck up here. So yeah, if you, if you do half throttle on your maneuvers, it'll be more precise. If you go slower, you know. So you got 300,000. Okay. So let's see. Is three good? Yes. Science. More science. There we go. Yes. <laughs> All right. So we got science from high carbon orbit. Okay. Take the science. Collect data. So here's another trick. Also, I learned. Um, if you hold shift, right, she grabs on. If you press a directional button, let go. Oh shoot. Let go of the direct. Oh shoot. <laughs> let go of the shift. Wait. How do you do this? All right. Shift. Directional button. And then space she launches off in the direction that you're pointing at okay that's useful if you are on a low gravity planet and you want to jump from ladder to ladder that's what you uh that's what you might want to do i don't know if you know that already but uh i, I thought it was funny when i first did it i overshot collect data this one trick all right let's get back i think we have enough science and we can complete the contract all right let's see i already have that okay back to earth Carbon. Okay, let's try shooting for the VAB again. So, my friend said to approach the atmosphere here in the desert. I think we sh we could start it right now. Alright, initiating reinsertion burn. Back to the KSC. T minus three, two, one. I want to move this periapsis here. Hold on. So that means I have to burn anti-radio, right? I think. That might be too much. Alright, whatever. I think we're going to be close. <laughs> this might be too much, guys. So let's put it back up a little bit. We have plenty of fuel, so we're trying to... So we're trying to pull this towards us. So it's anti-rail. Let's see. Alright, it's slowly getting there. Let's put it up at 50. Okay. Cool, so by the time it gets to the atmosphere, we will be at the desert. There we go. Booyah. Hey, let's head on back. So same thing, a feature in 1.0.5, if you speed up, it'll actually slow down when you reach the atmosphere. There you go. And it works. Cool. All right, so let's look at this. See what we did. Okay, so we're starting our descent above the uh, those things right there. Let's ride it out, guys. Maybe I should classify this as a uh, uh, debris. <laughs> there you go. Oh no, we're on fire. And then fifty thousand ejecting, ejecting the second stage. There you go. Actually, I should have kept it. There's fuel in there. Whoops. Oh well. Oh, if you want to switch between two different objects that are uh, next to each other, you press the bracket keys. I 
I think this will make it to KSC. Where am I? I'm, I'm the debris, right? So I can't see where I am. I classified myself as uh, debris. So I can't see myself. Hold on. Let's see, let's see. Ship. Okay, looks good. I believe we might land here. Yep, I think we're gonna make it, guys. Oh, no, we... We undershot. We might be in the desert. Okay, what a bummer. Alright, so... I guess that didn't work. I'll probably have to, uh... Next time we'll do 50,000 over here. I think that would work. All right, so this is Valentina Kerman making her descent into Kerbal, Kerbin space, 27,000 meters on top of the desert. Let's do the roll program. I think I could let's do this as a debris. So to get back onto the KSC, I probably need to burn closer to the edge of the um what do you wanna call it? Closer to the edge of the other side of the island. I think that will Land me in the KSC. Shoot, we're uh, heading into the mountains. Altitude is 10,000 meters and descending. It's unsafe to deploy. Risky. Now it's safe. All right, let's deploy. Because we're near the mountains, last time I blew up. <laughs> so let's see how this goes. Oh dear. I collected the science right before I uh, ditched the uh, main stage. Oh shoot, we're too fast. Oh, we're good. Okay, so you can see by our shadow that we are close to the ground. So generally, um, when we go back to the VAB, each part has a rating, which tells you how fast you can go before uh, your stuff gets damaged. So this actual pod, if you go over 7 meters, so I think it's 10 meters per second, it'll actually blow up uh, if you hit the ground. So we're not too heavy. Now let's look at this. Touchdown. 3, 2, 1. Okay, that's EVA. Thing to take. Take data. Crew EVA report. Do a crew report. EVA. Take data. And now we can plant flags. Okay. EVA report. Okay. Successful. Okay. What was the name of this thing? The Samski. Okay. This is the Samski. Samski three. And uh, how did we get? It was like seventy three, three forty three. Okay. Right. We have Val. Oh, this is the desert. It's Val. There we go. We're good. Okay, guys, the time is 3.18. And I've been streaming for three hours. <laughs> but, well, before we go, let's look at what we can buy. Yes. Okay, 118. What's the next thing I recommend getting? Okay, let's see. Batteries are good. And this is all good. I wish I could get all of these things, but I do like fuel systems. This uh, this allows you uh, these things. External fuel ducts allows you to uh, do asparagus staging, which is uh, very useful. But for now, I think we're gonna do this slowly. Um, that's good for now. Okay, I think flight control and uh, basic science is good. Actually, I kind of want to do the fuel systems to be honest, but. Nah, let's do flight control. Actually, not flight control. We don't really need uh, inline reaction wheels yet. Mm, let's see. Struts are useful. We don't have big parts yet. Mm, I kind of like struts though. You know what? Let's just do uh, flight control. Actually, I like, uh, sorry, I like struts. We're not really making big rockets right now. I'm torn right now. Let's see. Struts. Actually, I like the launch clamps. You know what? Let's do flight control. Okay. Very good. Alright guys, that's all of the time that we have tonight. Uh, thank you for joining me. 
I want to thank the new followers we have. Realist Scuba Steve, Zane Gamer TV, Samski1305, Lean Chiro, Regent Plague28, Ostini49519, XDJ, XDYNX78, and Mystic Blue 3 for following tonight. This is Carbal Space Program. I'm your host, Nezadam. Thank you for joining me tonight. Tomorrow, we're going to do the same thing over again. I hope you enjoy the show. If you have any questions about what I did tonight, shoot me a message and I'll get back to you. I don't know everything there is about Carbal Space Program, but I have 500 hours of flight time, but not, uh, not for 1.0.5 is obviously why uh, I had to relearn it. But anyway, have a good night, everyone. Peace. Thank you. Nezadam signing out. Uh, for channels that I recommend, head over to the Kerbal Space Program directory and um, we'll go check it out. Hold on. Let me link to it. Actually, let me check who's streaming right now. We'll head over to Das Valdez. Das Valdez is cool. I'm actually a subscriber to him, so check him out. Actually, you know what? I'll leave you this directory. That way um, you can pick somebody that you want to look at. But uh, It's a pleasure, guys, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? Uh, I'll probably stream uh, a little bit earlier. But yeah, that's all the time we have for tonight. Have a good night.